Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6 and get Cydia on your device. So basically, I updated recently to iOS 6, and now I will show you how to jailbreak it. It's tethered, so you will need to plug in your iPod every time you reboot, or iPad or iPhone. It doesn't work on the iPhone 5 yet. Okay, so we're just going in here in Red Snow, and we're just going to click Extras, and we're going to click Select IPSW. So you need an IPSW, I'll put one in the description, some links for them. Um, then you, okay, it's good. Uh, now I'll go back and jailbreak. So first off, um, my iPod is just plugged in. It's not in DFU mode right now, so it might ask me to do that. I don't know. Okay, so make sure you select install SSH because Cydia isn't available. Um, it doesn't come through Red Snow. To get it, you will need to do some SSH, so make sure you get that. Uh, and go next. And so now it wants me to enter DFU mode. Okay, so um, first off, I have to turn my device off. Okay, now I click next and get ready for DFU. Oh, so just hold the power for a couple seconds, then hold the home for 10. And then release the power and hold the home for another 15. Okay, so pretty routine. Okay, now that's done. It's in DFU and it is jailbreaking. Okay, that's a good sign what's shown here on your device. I'll say the same on yours if you did it right. And now it is done on your computer for now. And it just has to do this on your device, which could take a few minutes. I don't know. Um, I know with 5.1.1, it only took a couple minutes, but it could take longer with this. Okay, so that only took a couple minutes. It's already done. Uh, you should see a little pineapple logo thing uh, after all the scrolling stuff. And that only takes a couple seconds. So now what we want to do is we're back in red snow. And we want to go and click Just Boot. And after we click that, um, oh, I gotta turn my device off first. One sec. So I have to power off. And next. And I have to once again go into DFU mode. Okay, and now it is booting, and you just have to do this once after, but once you turn it on after this, it's still not going to have a Cydia on it, so in the next step, I'll show you how to get Cydia on it. Okay, you'll see the little pineapple, and very shortly it will boot. Okay, so once it's done, which should only take a couple of minutes, you want to go into your settings and go to Wi-Fi, and then tap the little arrow next to what you want there, and get your IP address. So I'm not going to show mine, um, and then you just want to copy that anyways, and the rest is you're going to go into your computer. So now on your computer, you need terminal open, and you have to type the following. Um, you have to type SSH space root at and then your IP okay so once you have that uh, press enter just gonna take a second just 
to wait for it. Okay, it says yes or no. Put yes. And then for password, put Alpine. Uh, now you get here. Okay, my bad. Actually, right at this point, you're going to have to uh, copy and paste in a line of code that I'm going to put in the description. So then once you put that in, enter and just wait for it. And it now is going to download. And once this is done, I'll tell you, it should take just a few seconds. Okay, so once you get right here where it says root and then pound, then you're done and the rest will take place in your device. So you can close that out if you want. And now we're going to open up the iPod and, okay, and um, there's Cydia right there. So we're just going to tap Cydia. And it's just going to prepare the file system. So this is the longest part. This will take quite a while to prepare the file system. But once that's done, everything's done. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. I have lots of videos going up soon. And lots that are already up that you can check out. Also, if you go to an app called App Trailers and put in the bonus code Jailbreak iPods, you will get 100 free bonus points. And you can use that to get free money and gift cards and stuff. It's a really great app. There's also a link for some iPhone cases in the description. They're pretty good on eBay. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.